Hey, hey, hey! It is your favorite remote work enthusiast, Delilah. In today's Q&A Tuesday, I'm going to answer a very popular question that I get. And I get this question in a few different variations, but basically the question is, how do I get hired to work online if I've got no experience, maybe I've got a little bit of experience, and then for some people, they've just got some weird things going on with their resume and it's been, you know, keeping them from getting hired. And oftentimes when I get this question, it's from people who have been dedicated to the job search. They have applied to so many places and nothing is happening. So if that is you, then you definitely want to stay tuned because I'm going to give you an actual strategy that works. And this strategy is going to help you get hired a lot sooner rather than later for your very own online job. But before I get into those details, if you haven't already, now is the time to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And make sure you tap the notification bell so that you can stay up to date on the latest work from home opportunities. I post weekly work from home hot leads for companies that are hiring, as well as work from home info that I know you're gonna love. So make sure you hit subscribe and tap the notification bell. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. So how do you get hired to work online if you have no experience, little experience, or you've got some resume issues? And resume issues could be gaps or maybe no experience in a certain area, but you've got work experience in other areas, whatever that means to you. Here's the thing. Now, before I get into this strategy, I want to make sure that you're already doing a few things properly. Are you already applying to jobs on a regular basis? I always say getting hired and especially getting hired online will feel like a job itself because you really do have to apply daily. You want to put in as many applications as you can and you want to make sure that you're doing that on a daily basis. Don't just put in an application here and there. That's not going to help you get hired. And then when you are applying, are you filling out the application properly? Are you giving the required information in its entirety? And are you applying with a great resume and a custom made cover letter? If you're not doing those things, then you want to make sure that you do those things before you consider doing this strategy. And I mean, you can do the strategy if you want, you know, either way, but this strategy is for people who it's just not happening. Like you have not been able to get hired and you're doing all of those things and you have no clue what's going on. Well, if you are doing those things, then chances are it must be an experience issue or a skill issue. And if that's the case, then this strategy will really help you out. So what I recommend is if you have not had any success getting hired online and you've been doing all those things properly, then you may want to consider working with one of those 1099 call center opportunities, Live Ops, Working Solutions, Arise, Next Rep, one of them. Okay, now I know these companies sometimes can be a little bit divisive. They don't pay that great. They don't offer benefits. And you know, it's not necessarily what you may be looking for. But I personally believe they serve a purpose, especially if you know how to leverage them properly, like in this strategy. So if you've had no success getting hired, I recommend getting on with one of those opportunities because they're technically not jobs, they're work opportunities. And oftentimes all you need to do is pay your way into them and do the training. What I'm getting at is if you do one of those opportunities, you're able to hit two birds with one stone. You get the work experience and you get the skill set. Many of these customer service or online jobs require some type of customer experience. They might ask that you worked in a metrics driven environment, maybe had sales goals to meet. A lot of those clients on those 1099 call center platforms require those things. Maybe you need experience working with a CRM, a customer relationship management software. I was working with Salesforce when I tried out Arise. That's something that's very popular whenever you're servicing one of those clients. That's something that you would definitely want to add to your resume along with all of those other skills, such as taking inbound calls or making outbound calls. 
handling sensitive information, compliance type things, if you've had any experience working with, you know, something along those lines. Billing, you know, I was doing billing in my opportunity and a lot of companies, you know, they're looking for someone who's got billing experience. You kind of get what I'm saying here. You can use these not so great opportunities because they don't offer benefits and the pay is not always great. Sometimes it's actually pretty decent, but you can use those opportunities as leverage because if you work or service one of those clients for six months to a year, you're then able to move on to a bigger and better paying opportunity. You'll have the experience and you'll have the skill set, and this builds up your resume so that you're more employable to potential employers. And this is going to help you get hired for the opportunity that you actually want. So the strategy that I'm describing here is if you have had no success getting hired and you know you're doing all of those things properly, use those not so great 1099 opportunities as a way to build up your resume, build up your skill set all of those things that an online employer would be looking for. And that way you're able to move on to the opportunity that you actually want. I recommend this for anyone who's in that boat because it works and you can use those positions to leverage you getting to where you want to be. And, you know, keep in mind, you'll also be making money in the process. So some money is better than no money and being stuck in a job search. If this was helpful, let me know. And I also have a link in the description box below with a on-demand webinar for a resume and cover letter training that I did. If you aren't sure your resume and cover letter on, are on point, then you definitely wanna check out that webinar. And the link is in the description box below. And the link to submit a Q&A Tuesday question is also in that description box. And your question might be featured on the next episode of Q&A Tuesday. So hopefully this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.